Hi, this is Dr. J. In this video, I want to show you how to polish items on a glass plate using polishing powder. The theory behind polishing is that you want to polish using a coarser grit, meaning a higher micrometer number, like 30 micrometers first, to flatten out your sample, and then you go to smaller and smaller grit sizes like the next sample, the next size down we have is 15 micrometers and then maybe 9 micrometers after that. Um, with grit size, the numbers actually go an opposite direction from coarser to finer. So this is a 400 grit at 30 micron size, whereas 15 micrometers is actually 600 grit. So just keep that in mind that you know what the size of the particles are that you're actually using to polish with. So this is alumina meaning it's made of aluminum oxide, but you can also get diamond grit and other materials of different hardnesses. So to use a glass plate to polish something, you'll want to have the plate completely cleaned ahead of time. This is especially important to make sure that there aren't any excess particles that might be very coarse that are sitting on the surface, because if they are, then they will produce scratches and grooves in the surface of your sample that you don't want. And you can put some of your powder, polishing powder, onto the surface of the plate. And if you don't know how much to put, start conservatively, meaning start with not a lot, <laughs> and then work your way up from there if you think you need more later. And so for this, we're just going to use regular water in a squirt bottle and try not to squirt it too fast so that the stuff doesn't go flying all over the place. And then you just basically put your sample into the material and start pushing it sideways, right. grinding the surface down of your sample, and so you need grit in between your sample and the glass slide. Like this, and cover the entire area of the glass slide back and forth. The motion that actually causes the polishing is the side-to-side -side motion and not by pushing down really hard. This is important because you can actually injure your hand and wrist and give yourself carpal tunnel syndrome if you push down on these too hard for too long of a time period over many, you know, over a long period of time. So you don't need to push down very hard. You want the motion to go sideways and you want to go back and forth over the grit. And this can continue for a long period of time. Uh, I usually tell people to do it for, you know, set a timer, maybe do it for five or ten minutes, and then wash your sample off in the sink or with the squirt bottle and see what it looks like. And then keep going for set periods of time over and over until you think you have something that looks pretty nice. And then when you're done with this, you definitely want to wash off your sample in the sink to remove all of the grit, especially if you're going to go from like a 30 micrometer grit to then a 15 micrometer grit. You want to completely clean off all of the coarser grit from your sample before you start on the finer grit as well. So that's all there is to that. It's just a matter of um, checking every once in a while. And at this grit, so this 30 micrometer grit, we won't see any shiny reflective surface from the sample. When you start on 15 micrometers or 9 micrometers or even finer grained um, polishing grit, then you will actually start to see a shiny reflective surface and that can be one way of determining if how close you are to being done to having a flat uh, polished surface. For thin sections, if you go down to 9 micrometers uh, polishing grit and have a nice shiny surface, you're good to go. So that's just some guidelines on how to polish on a glass slide.